Okay, so welcome all of you to the online statistics class of the spring quarter. Um, thanks for coming. And uh, today, this is, this is the one webinar, this is the orientation webinar. So uh, this is not where I'm going to be talking statistics. Uh, the goal today is to just give you an idea of what the course is about and um, what, the obli what your obligations are for the class. And uh, this is the other me, by the way. Uh, what the other, what your other obligations are for the class, and um, resources that, that will help you out to lead in the class and uh, make it and do well. Um, and also the way webinars work, and this is why I have live webinars, is you can ask questions and I'll answer them. Whereas, and I'll answer them, you know, basically immediately. Whereas if you watch just a recorded video and you ask a question to the video, nothing will happen. You know, you'll just be watching a video. Um, you can still ask questions via the um, email or via the Q&A form, which I'll show you, and also the project um, forum. Um, but those are not immediate answers because I don't sit at the screen 24 hours a day and, you know, do that for my whole life. I do actually have a life. Uh, I do check out my screen, though, um, pretty much every day. So let you know that um, any questions you have this um, anytime through the orientation, let me know. I'm gonna be going over the syllabus. I'm gonna be going over the schedule. I'm gonna be going over all the different things we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna help you and show you how to navigate through Canvas and you know what pieces of the course are in Canvas and how to find them and all that kind of stuff. So that is the plan. Um, I'm gonna share my screen so Again, the whole point is to see what the course is about. This is an online course. The whole course is online, which means we got to look at online stuff. So let's do that. So let me share. <clears throat> and, and I want to remind you again, uh, let me find it. Um, There it is. Just want to make sure the chat box is open so that I can see it when you put things in the chat box. So I'll be looking at the chat box. Um, you can type things in the chat box. You can also talk and ask a question. Um, whatever works for you is a great way to ask questions. So I'm going to go through the syllabus um, one line at a time. You know, not every line, but a lot of them. Um, and again, this is not today is not a day the day that we're going to be going over how to do statistics. This is a day to go over how to learn statistics. So the first thing, this is elementary stats. If you don't think it is, then you're in the wrong class. You should log out now. Uh, this is the elementary statistics class. It's um, online and truly fully online. Although if you ever want to, you can all, you're always welcome to come to my office hour and uh, see me face to face. But there's nothing you, there's nothing in this class that you're required to do that isn't online. Okay, so that's just a note. This is truly an online class. And it's five units. And I want to warn you, that means that you need to put in your schedule a lot of time for this class. Okay, this is not a class where you can spend a half an hour a week and, and pass. It will not happen. Um, this class takes a lot of time. It's not because I'm evil. It's just there's a lot of material to cover. So um, make sure you put in the schedule uh, the, what they call the Carnegie unit system, which is a nationwide unit system, says that you're supposed to spend it, it take triple the amount of time. The, uh, should take the number of units, multiply by three, and that's how much time you should expect to spend. So 15 hours a week is what you should be expect to put into your schedule to make sure that you can do well in this class. Okay, that's uh, what's called the Carnegie unit system. Here, a lot of people coming in, which is great. Um, hopefully, we'll get more. Um, just note, this, is a, this class is full. So if you have friends that want to take it, sorry, um, they can take the other section that is um, uh, my colleague's class, and hers isn't full, but mine's, mine's full. So um, we have 30 students in this class. But the good news is that means that you're going to get lots of uh, people to work with if you want to. OK, um, my name is Larry Green. And I have been teaching at Lake Tahoe Community College 
which I don't know, anyone read the news about, uh, I read the Todd Tribune today, special thing they said about Lake Todd Community College. We made national news, or at least statewide news. Lake Todd Community College was voted best college in California for community colleges of the 116 community colleges. So we're a good college and kind of kind of nice to be here. Okay, online or not online, um, but we are the best. And that means that we have great students and that's y'all. So I'll let you know that I've been, um, I've been at Lake Tahoe Community College longer than any other full-time teaching faculty at the whole college. I'm the most, <laughs> just kind of cool. So I love it here. I'm not going anywhere for, I mean, eventually I'll die, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm not going anywhere for a while, uh, but I've been here, this is my 26th year of teaching. I've been teaching statistics, all of them, <laughs> pretty much. And I even taught statistics before that at Sonoma State University as an adjunct for a couple of years. And um, so I've been teaching stats forever. Um, and I've been doing a lot of stats work, which I'll talk about in a bit in terms of building and creating. So the good thing I've been teaching online, I was actually, the, the our stats class was the first class, online statistics class accepted in the state of California. So I've been teaching forever basically online, which means that I've been able to make adjustments when every, whenever something is not going that well, I make an adjustments to improve it. And I do that every year, okay, or all the time. So um, it doesn't mean you, there aren't things that can't be improved, but let me know if they are, and then I'll improve it for the next however many years I teach. And my stuff is used by millions of people. So not just that, but a lot of people, okay. Um, so I've been teaching stats forever. Um, I also have done a lot of consulting work in stats. So I've used stats, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, the best way to contact me when you have information to tell me or ask me that is something that you do not want to share with other students, email me. That's the best form of communication when it's something you don't want to share with others. I'll talk about the things when there's something to share. So for example, if you want to know how to do a problem in statistics, that's something you should share with everyone because everyone can learn how to do that problem. But if, I don't know, some you know, tragedy happened in your family and you're going to have to be late for one of the assignments, um, that's the kind of thing you probably would be emailing me about, if that makes sense. Um, so it's, uh, again, Dr. Larry Green at gmail.com. And... Um, the Canvas webpage is very important. And I recommend that you take this Canvas page, um, this uh, Lake Tahoe CC instructor.com. And I recommend you put it on your you know, favorites or whatever, or your um, bookmark. So that if you, um, if for example, our college's website goes down, but you've got this address, it'll still work. Cause this actually, I think it goes to Amazon. I think we, I think Canvas rents out Amazon space. That's what they told me. So it, it almost never goes down. That's the good news. So I recommend again, taking that URL and making sure you got it somewhere on your computer, just in case. Okay. The nice thing is spring quarter, we don't usually have a big snow outages kind of stuff. So we probably won't have any problems. Okay. Um, the live lectures and office hours information. Um, you obviously don't need it because you're on it right now. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't get into this. Uh, although, if you're watching this as a recorded webinar, you do need it, you know, because that means uh, you may not have it. But if you're on live, then that's what you clicked. So if you click on this guy, this just goes to what I sent you guys to the Zoom link. That's all this is. That's the Zoom link. You all have it, hopefully. Okay. Um, and um, I cross my fingers, it'll never happen, but I've never been Zoom bombed. So I just keep the static link that I always use and hopefully I don't have to do something that, you know, we have to change it every time. So, cause it's a lot easier to have a single link. Um, the archived lectures, just let you know, we are going to have webinars every week. This week we have two because this week there's an orientation webinar. That's right now we're in it. And then tomorrow at um, noon will be the regular learn statistics webinar. Today is not about learning statistics. Tomorrow will be about learning statistics. And then after, after this week, every week I'll have a web, one webinar of learning statistics. 
And the way that's going to work is it is pretty much every other week will be Monday evening at six and the alternate ones will be Tuesday at noon. And I found that works again, I've been doing this many years. I found that works for most people. What I want to do is I don't want to have at the same time every week, because then if, for example, you have a, if you have a Monday at six o'clock class, you'll never come. But I find if I have a lunch hour one and an evening one, just about everyone can make one of them. Um, and a lot of people can make both. So that's why I've done that. Um, and the webinars, including this one, will be put on YouTube. Right now, obviously, hopefully it's obvious to you, there are no webinars for this quarter to put on YouTube because we haven't had one yet. So right now this link goes to last quarter's, um, you know, it's not what you wanna be watching now, but I just post it to see, and it goes to YouTube. It goes to a YouTube playlist, okay? Um, I also have full-length YouTube lectures. Let me click on that. Okay, so this is a playlist on YouTube. Okay, I put things on YouTube because YouTube is like bulletproof. Have you ever seen YouTube go down? Put in the chat box if you've ever seen YouTube go down. Like you couldn't get into YouTube, not because of your internet, but because YouTube itself went down. Um, but in my... I don't know, 15 years of doing this. I don't think YouTube has ever gone down. So that's why I put everything on YouTube. It always works. Um, and that way you have it. And even after you're done with this class, you can still have it because it'll still be up there on YouTube. Whereas if it's in Canvas, you lose it. Um, do these lectures cover the same material as your live weekly webinar? That's a really good question. Um, not quite, not quite. It's the same concepts, that's, that's for sure. So all the concepts are the same. These webinars, I, I mean, sorry, these webinars, these um, lectures, these are the chapter lectures. I have um, polished them. So like if I say, um, I like go and clean out that um and, you know, do, I spend a lot of time on these things. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, they've been done over the years. So there's nothing exciting about them. Whereas in the lectures that I cover in the weekly webinars, I try to bring in current events. So I try, like, you know, hopefully not the whole quarter, but I'll probably talk about Ukraine this week. You know, I hope they have peace and it's over, but, um, but that's the kind of stuff I'll try. One of the things I love about teaching stats is that it's everywhere. It can be used for so many different things. I can always find relevant stuff to talk about every week. And um, so that's one of the big differences is that the, web, the ones we're looking at now, they're old, they're not gonna be about Ukraine, you know, or, or but whatever's happening in the news or whatever, whatever's important that week. Um, they're gonna be just kind of static webinars. Does that make sense? Okay, that's a good question. How long do the webinars last? Um, the orientation usually lasts about an hour, that's today. Okay, um, no guarantee. It all depends on how many questions there are, of course, and you know how, how much, how long I go on, I guess. But usually on an hour for today, um, and then it usually goes about an hour and a half ish for the um, going over statistics material. Okay, and again, ish. If there's more questions, it could take longer. If there's fewer questions, it could take less time. When I talk about the projects, which we'll see in a bit, it usually takes a little more time. Um, so it, you know, it depends on what it is that we're talking about, but hour and a half ish is what it takes. Hopefully that works for y'all. Okay. I don't want to like, you know, torture you with four hours of webinar, you know, at once um, that won't happen. <laughs> so I, I have, I have dinner after the webinar, at least on Mondays, and I get hungry. <laughs> so you could have dinner while you're watching, but I can't do that. <laughs> um, so they only go so long. Hopefully that answers your questions. Good, good questions though. Please ask questions. That's the whole point of these webinars. Instead of watching just the static videos is you can ask questions, okay? And you can get your questions answered immediately. Okay, so let's go back. Um, <clears throat> because of, I know COVID was awful, but there were, there were a couple of good things about it. One of the good things is my regular face-to-face -face class had to be online, which means that I gave full length um, videos, webinars for that time. <laughs> so if you wanna hear longer 
lectures. <laughs> These are longer, and that's called the Eve class, um, which is basically online when it wasn't supposed to be online because of COVID. Um, and you'll notice these are like hours long, you know, two hours and 10 minutes was this guy. Some are shorter, but, you know, but they're definitely much longer than the webinars we've got. So if you need more information, figure it out, might as well post them for you guys. Again, they're not required. Nothing is required to, to watch other than you have to watch the, um, the, the regular webinars. Okay, you don't have to watch them live, but you have to watch them at least recorded. Live is better. Um, all the rest, I put a lot of stuff up there for whatever works for you. So that's what those webinars were. Okay. I also have short introductory videos um, for each week. Those are just little like one or two minutes of talking about what the week's going to talk about. Okay. And they're, they're actually pretty old. If you've been to, I don't know, and let me ask you, it's always good for me to know. Can you put in the chat box um, where you live? Could be Tahoe, could be somewhere else. I always like to see, you know, who I'm talking to. So everyone put in the chat box. Again, this is um, this is private. Yeah, this is not on YouTube. I'm just reading it. Okay. Wow, all over the place so far. <laughs> A few South Lake Tahoe people there. Now we're getting South Lake Tahoe people. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Los Angeles, South Lake Tahoe. By the way, um, I went to UCLA. <laughs> So I know it, Roanoke Park. Uh, so um, I taught at Sonoma State University. I have a house across the street from uh, uh, Sonoma State that I rent out in Roanoke Park. <laughs> I don't even know who's living there. You might be living in my house for all I know. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I know I lived in Roanoke Park for three years. So Tahoe. <laughs> okay, so, so a group of people from Tahoe and the rest from kind of all over. Um, so again, the one thing is, this is all online, um, wherever you live, doesn't matter, um, as long as you have internet access. If you do not have internet access, you can't take this class. <laughs> it, it won't work because <laughs> the whole thing is online. Okay, so that's the big note. Okay. <clears throat> you went a room by Snow State, you could be living in my house, I don't even know yet. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Okay, um, <clears throat> so anyhow, um, there are also videos of worked out problems. Those are short videos of how to do a particular problem that happens in the class. And um, you'll do most, most of the time you'll watch that as you're doing the homework, okay? Although homework is a bad word because everything is homework when it's an online class, right? <laughs> Um, but when you're doing the assignments, let's call it that way or something, there's no good word for the word homework in, in online classes. Um, and there's links to a video that is relevant to the problem you're working on. And I'll show you how that looks in a little bit. Okay. And there's also interactive statistics, and that's a supplement. If it pops on in. Okay. Um, one thing is you'll, you'll learn about me is I'm a, pro, uh, I'm a coder, I'm a programmer, and I've coded many, many, many different things to help you out with statistics. So stats and calculus are my two big things, and these are the calculus things that I'm doing. And I've created a lot of different calculus apps. So these are learning activities for calculus. Okay. And again, today's not the day I'm going to be... Show, I mean, not calculus, sorry. These are for statistics. Um, these are statistics apps. Um, and today's not the day I'm going to go over statistics. Today's the day I'm going to go over where things, where you find stuff. So we're not going to like go and, you know, do one of these because that's when we're learning stats. So it's got all that stuff. One of the things, and it's kind of my mission in life. And so far, I've never had a student complain about it. My mission in life in the last many, many years has been to make sure that no student drops my class because they can't afford the materials or the book for the class. Okay, that will not happen. Okay, and you know why it won't happen for you guys? Because it, <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Uh, there's a textbook, but it's an online class, it's online free. Everything, 
everything in this class is free. Okay. Ah, so the TI calculator. TI calculator is an ancient calculator. There's a better calculator. I'll show you that. And it's free. <laughs> okay. As long as you have online access. And again, if you don't have online access, you don't belong in this class. <laughs> Sound fair? <laughs> so we'll get there too. So this is the book. I mean, if for some reason you wanted to like get a paper copy, it's going to cost you money because you got to buy the paper <laughs> and hit print. But this is the book. And um, this book is, uh, it's called an OpenStax book. It, it was written actually originally by um, uh, Barbara Lowski and Susan Dean. Barbara is actually um, a, a colleague of mine. I call her my twin because we're both big in this free textbook stuff. Um, so she originally wrote it, but even though she wrote it, I went and what's good, what's called OER, I can change anything. I'm allowed to do that. There's no copyright. That, that means I can't do stuff. So, so I can go change stuff. So for example, I don't know, maybe I'll just pick a section. How about descriptive statistics? Cause that's so sweet. And if we go to, how about measures of the spread? So there's a section in the book and this is the book. Looks like any old book, you know, again, you could hit print, you got to pay for the paper and the, and, the, and the ink if you want to hit print, but it's an online class, you don't have to do that. And then you'll notice that And if you want, let's say the sample standard deviation, which we'll be talking about next time, hit calculate and it gives you the answer. There's your free calculator. Okay, so it's all there and I embedded it where it belongs in the book and I'll show you also where it is. Okay, this is what, where you'll use it when you're reading the book. And then if you look at some more, then I create a little game for you. <laughs> Again, you don't know what standard deviation is yet. So some of you might, but if you don't know what standard deviation is, um, so I'm not going to play the game because you won't understand it because you have to understand um, standard deviation. And it gives you a score and it tells you, you know, what you're getting. You have to like get the best thing. So I created some games. If you scroll down some more. Um, There's an interactive homework problem. So instead of just an example in the book, you can actually try it out and it'll tell you. And then if we scroll down some more, here's a video that's embedded in the book. This is a video on using the LibreTeX calculator and exploring statistics. And uh, that's my voice, by the way. So I embedded up my videos throughout the book. Um, so it's different than a static textbook because you're probably used to static textbooks. I wanted this book to be something that you want to go to instead of like maybe you're forced to or you never will. Cause this actually, there's a lot of stuff in there for all kinds of different learning styles. Here's another um, calculator I programmed in here that pops right in. Um, anyway, and this is just one section. So every section kind of looks like that. Okay, another calculator. And again, this is just a section, more book stuff. So whatever works for you, and that's the most important thing, is you need to do what works for you for learning. Any questions on that? Okay, and again, you can't, this is just an online book. It's just a, a link, it's free. Um, you, don't have to pay, uh, you don't have to pay anything for it. I'll let you read through the course description and the student learning outcomes. Um, the grading policy, I do it. This is important, actually. It's 90, 90, 80, 70, 60. It's a standard grading policy, okay? Do not, do not ask me after the course is over, what can I do now to, you know? You know, I got a 67%. How can I pass now? Well, you can't. <laughs> you got a 67%. So this is the standard grading policy. Just let you know that that's, that is how it works. And Here's something that might be really different. And I, tr I, I did this last quarter actually was the first time I ever did this in my class. Again, I always try to improve, improve or change things for the better if I can and for whatever we can deal with. Um, there's a bunch of things in the class. First, there's the chapter assignments and I'll show you later what they look like. Those are basically online homework problems. 
and that's 10% of your grade. Then there, uh, there is gonna be a discussion post. Let me um, pop in the chat box. It's either yes or no. Yes, if you have taken an online class before and no, if you have not taken an online class before. Just wanna see something. Okay, so a few no no's, mostly yeses. Okay, so if you've taken an online class, then you probably had to do discussion posts. That is a standard thing for online classes. And by the way, one of the reasons why I know why it's standard, um, one of the things that I did is I was one of the statewide reviewers for um, online courses, um, not just for math, but for all subjects. So I was like multiple, multiple classes every quarter that I would look at and then um, you know, give them my stamp of approval. And all of them, 100% of them had discussion assignments. That's something I learned. So if you had an online class, you've seen discussion assignments. But I'll show you what ours looks like. If you haven't, then we'll talk about in a bit what the discussion assignments are about. Okay, exams. We do not have a final exam in this class. I call it final exam, but there's nothing real final. There's no midterm in this class. What I have done instead, okay, and I tested it last quarter for the first time ever, is every other week you have a timed test. Okay, each of those tests are worth 10% of the course. So no test is going to like make or break your grade. Does that make sense? If you fail all the tests, it'll be awful. <laughs> but it means that it takes some of the stress like that. Oh my God, this is like the most important thing and I'm too stressed out and I can't do anything and I can't think. Uh, maybe none of you have been like that, but a lot of people have got issues. But that takes some of the stress away. I mean, still take these exams seriously, but it's not the end of your entire class if it doesn't go perfect. Okay, but you, you need to take every one of them. And they are on even weeks. Okay. By the way, is this week an even week? Let's see if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's not. This is week one. <laughs> and one is an odd number. So next week, you'll have to take an exam. And in, you know, week four, you take one, week six, week eight, week 10, week 12. And the way the exams work is around, um, for the first exam, it doesn't matter, but after the first exam, around half the exam is review, is older stuff, and the other half is those two weeks that it covers the most recent. And that's how the exams work. Most of the exam is computer graded, but the last few I grade, and they're um, typed out problems where you show work, basically. Um, wait, so what do they cover? Okay, so, so for example, in week eight, half of the week eight exam will cover week seven and eight. And the other half of the week eight exam will cover week one through six. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I found that works pretty well. Um, so, you know, you, you gotta learn the stuff and they're two hour exams each. You know, so those are, those are timed. The assignments and discussions are not timed, but the exams are timed, okay? And, you know, so it's not, it, the, you know, the, you get them every other week. It's not like there's the one test at the end that covers everything and that is the one that's gonna make or break your whole grade. It doesn't work that way. You have to consistently do okay. Does that make sense? And if you have one bad week, it's not the end of you. Um, I'm not giving you a sample test because I'll tell you the way I, here's the way I write the tests. Except for those couple written problems. Um, all I do is take the assignment questions and the computer randomly grabs a few problems from the assignments and that's your test. So your sample test of the assignments, <laughs> other than the fact that in the sample test, I mean, in the real test, you get two hours, it's timed. And also in the assignments, you can try a problem over and over and over again until you get it right. On the regular exam, you only get to try once. But they're the same problem. You know, it doesn't mean you're gonna get the exactly same problems because I've written like hundreds of problems and they're randomized. But of course you can take the, the over, redo the assignment questions a hundred times if you really wanted to, <laughs> and you'd probably see them all. Okay, so you don't need a, a sample test, which is nice. Okay, so it's different. These are it's a low stakes test, but it but it's important. 
Um, no, the Simon tests are online. I'll show you what they look like in a bit, I promise. Okay, we'll get there. I, I wanna start with the syllabus and then we'll get to what the, the details look like. Okay, there are two projects. The projects are specific dates, uh, May 8th and June 19th. And these projects are their team projects. And I strongly recommend you work with three total people, you and two other people. You are allowed to work with two, you're not allowed to work with four and you're not allowed to work by yourself. So it's either two or three, three is better. Because if you work with three, how much of the project do you have to do? A third of it. If you work with two people, which is you and one other person, how much of the project do you have to do? Yeah, then half, okay, which is easier. <laughs> it's a lot easier. It's a, yeah, depending on the group, maybe 100%, but no, hopefully you find people who are going to work, you know, also. But um, it's a lot easier to work with three people. The other reason why you want to work with three, work with three people is that if, so, if you work with three and one of your partners drops a class, you still have a team. So that's another big reason. Okay. Hopefully no one drops, but people often drop. You know, I, I do my best, but I can't, you know, I can't do much about that. Okay, uh, I kind of talked about the exams. Um, so just let you know, I think it says 90 minutes, but I thought I gave you two hours. I'll have to check that. I need to fix that because I think it's supposed to be two hours. Um, just about everything in this class is due on Sunday. Okay. So everything is due on Sunday does not mean you should just start doing everything on Sunday. <laughs> Okay, you want to do it early so that if something happens on Sunday, you're still okay. Okay, that, that's called good strategy for life is that you don't want to wait till the last minute to do stuff because that's when things go wrong. You know, your internet will go down or something will happen. So I strongly recommend you finish by Friday. And if you can't, if, you, if you're working on Friday and you realize that you're going to need some extra time after Sunday, if you, tell, if you ask me by Friday, then I'll give you extra time. If you ask me after Friday, I don't give you extra time, okay? And that's a guarantee. The only thing I don't give extra time on is the discussion because that's a conversation with each other and it doesn't make any sense if everyone stopped talking and you wanna still talk. So the only discussion posts have to be done um, and can't be extended in time. Everything else can if you ask by Friday. If you don't, if you ask me on Sunday, I will say no, just let you know that. Okay, so that's why you want to be working on stuff early. Okay, um, for the discussions, the discussions, the way it's going to work for all the discussions is you're going to put an initial post up and I'll show you what they look like in a little bit. Oh, uh, someone asked, are you assigned groups? The answer is no, you're going to find groups and I'll show you how in a bit. I'll show you how to find groups. And the nice thing is it's pretty easy to find groups. Um, so you're not assigned, you get to choose. I don't wanna be the one to tell you who you have to work with. Um, you, should just, you should find good people. That's the idea. And I'll, I'll show you how to find good people. Again, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, I mean, I've had people, I've had military people. I, uh, one quarter actually, I had four different countries represented because um, I've had military people that are you know, posted, you know, that are stationed out in some other foreign country. And they do great actually. So you can still work together, even if they're not even in your country, that can work. Just let you know that, okay? Um, so you have to post your original discussion post by Thursday. And the reason for that is that gives everyone time to answer your post. Okay, so by Thursday, every week, you're gonna have to do your discussion post. This week we have two and every other week you only have one. And I'll, I'll show you why this week does a fun one. And then there's a statistics one, okay? Live webinars, I've talked about it. Um, so let you know, um, the way the webinars work is that I already talked about the time and you know how to get in because you're here. Um, and I, you can click and get to the login. I also post that login a lot on the, uh, um, on the announcements. And by the way, if you don't look at your college email, my recommendation is to auto forward your college email to whatever email you look at so that you will 
see my announcements. I, I post announcements a lot about this class and you are responsible for reading them. So you want to, um, again, you can look at your college email or if, if you just wanna look at one email, then just have it forwarded. And honestly, that's what I do. I have a college email. It's greenl at ltcc.edu. I never go to it. I have it auto forwarded to my Gmail. And that way I don't have to click on two different email accounts. I just have the one email. Okay, but if, if you send me uh, the LTCC one, I'll get it. That's the good news. Um, and you can do the same. Okay. Um, so you have to either log in, like you're like the ones that are like if you're here now, you're logged in. And at the end, toward well, not the very end, but towards the end, I give a secret word. And every week there's a secret word quiz, and all it says is what was the secret word? And you type the secret word in, and that gives you credit for having watched the webinar. So, and it's recorded. So if you watch it recorded, you'll hear the secret word while watching it recorded. Okay, make sure you write it down. <laughs> okay, and I'll give it in a little while, but not uh, haven't given it yet. Um, so just note there's a secret word, and um, you have to do that. If you don't do that secret word quiz, then um, by Sunday that week, it's bad for you. Okay, then there's a 5% course penalty for every webinar that you don't watch. Okay, the webinars aren't that long, they're not that hard to watch. Okay, if you some reason can't watch it, then I make it so you're sad, not by course penalty, but there is a plan B that you won't like. <laughs> and that is you can watch it, but you have to take detailed notes of everything I say, at least five page essay, <laughs> and then email me the notes and then I'll give you credit for it. So you don't wanna do that. <laughs> Instead, just watch the webinar, take some notes um, and then do the secret word quiz, which I'll show you how to get to in a bit. Any questions on the webinars? Okay, so the projects, I'm only gonna talk briefly right now, um, the projects, um, I'd said we're due, you know, a while from now, they're going to be on the course stuff that we do, which we don't, we haven't learned yet, so I can't talk about it. Um, just let you know, you do, you do have to work with, you don't want to work alone. I have a 25% penalty if you can't work with another student, which is just horrible. <laughs> so in other words, work with another student. Okay. You can't even get a B if you don't work with another student. Okay. So you have to work with other people. And the projects, what I found when people talk to me later, like a year or two after the class, for most people, they find the most value in the projects because they are things that are interest you in that you can use statistics for, okay? I've actually had literally students use it for their job. <laughs> that they actually had to give it to their boss too, not just me. <laughs> You know, you may not need to, but some people have to do that. And they like their boss loves them because they were able to do this really sophisticated analysis of whatever their work was. Okay. Um, just let you know, we'll talk about, I'll have the, I'll spend like a hell of half an hour on project one um, next week. Just let you know in the next, next week's webinar. Um, the Q&A forum, as I mentioned, there is, um, there's a lot of ways of communicating. One is emailing me, but that's only for private stuff. If it's non-private, you're going to use the Q&A forum. Okay, in fact, let me just click on that. Right now, no one's asked a question yet because you haven't even learned about this forum. But all you do is you hit reply, you type in your question, <laughs> and then once you type it in, so you type in post reply, which I'm not going to do because I don't have a question. <laughs> and then I will check it pretty often, okay? Um, most of the time, and I'll explain why most of the time, most of the time I will check it within 24 hours, often within an hour or two. Um, the only time it won't be within 24 hours is, and it's going to sound weird, if I'm backpacking. Because <laughs> if I'm backpacking, I don't have internet access because <laughs> I'm out in the middle of nowhere. If you're from Tahoe, you know what I'm talking about is that I go hiking and there's no access. Um, and I'm in a backpack and, uh, you know, I might be at Star Lake if you know what I'm talking about, uh, but 
you know, I do big backpacking trips and sometimes I'll backpack for a day and a half or something. It won't be more than 48 hours for sure. Most of the time it'll be within very close. I will let you know my own physical schedule. Um, I am not a night owl. <laughs> if you ask me a question at 9.30 PM, you will not get anything back until around 4.30 in the morning. Just let you know that because I will be asleep. <laughs> So don't expect me to answer any questions after my bedtime, because if I'm asleep, I don't answer. And hopefully you all understand that. Um, but, I, but I will answer early in the morning, probably before any of you are awake, because I tend to wake up really early. That's just everyone has their, their, their style. And that's me. Um, so I'll let you know that that's kind of the way, the way I am and the way things work with my uh, schedule. OK. Um, there is um, the most important thing with diversity and inclusion, respect each other. Um, it's really important no matter what your backgrounds are, we're all people, we're, you know, you're all students, I'm not, but you're all students and um, be nice to each other. Even if you've never seen them um, because it's online, you're just be polite, okay? That's all I ask. And whether, you know, whatever they're, their races or sexual orientation or whatever. Um, we're all, you're all students and just be good to each other. That's the main thing. Um, I'm always happy to get feedback if you just send me an email, but if you don't want, if you want to give me feedback without saying who you are, um, I would never ever dock you points for giving me feedback. I do have an anonymous feedback link. Most people don't need to do that because you can just ask me. Okay, just let you know. And more on Medicaid guidelines, I'll let you read through that. Um, I have office hours. So I have office hours five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, when, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. My official office hours are Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 1010 to 1110. Um, they are on Zoom. They're also in my office. Um, sometimes though, I may not get to my office until 1115. So I apologize if that, that's the case because I teach till 1010 but it's a, it's a three second walk to get from my classroom to my office. Um, it's like right across the hallway. And, but sometimes I have to erase the board. <laughs> so if it's 10, 15, I apologize, but, but I'll eventually get to you. And then um, I don't sit there and stare at the screen for the whole hour, hoping someone will like, you know, log in. So if you do log in and I, I don't see you shout, just say something so that I hear you because I might be grading and looking down at papers or something. And then just say something so that I know that you're there and then I'll help you out. Okay. Um, and then Tuesday, Thursday, three to four. Okay. And I'm, you know, I'll be there. The only day that I definitely will not be there. Any guess? There's one day. Yeah. And uh, the office hour link is the same as now, by the way. Yeah, I do one link for everything. I try to make life easy. Uh, no, no, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those are my office hours. All right, I'll tell you. Memorial Day weekend, Memorial Day Monday. <laughs> so no office hour on Memorial Day because that's supposed to be a holiday. <laughs> so I'll probably be backpacking. <laughs> okay, calculator. So this is the TI-84 question. So for all homework and exams, um, it's recommended you use the LibreText calculator. Okay, I will tell you, um, this is a calculator. As I mentioned, I'm a, I'm a computer programmer and I've coded a full calculator custom for this class. It has everything we do in our class and it's set up in the order at which we do things in this class. Okay, so you may need a random num a a number at the beginning. You're gonna do some one variable stats, that's this week, and then you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's just fine. But the very last thing we do in our class is something called ANOVA. <laughs> and there's a calculator for that. And that is going to be, that is definitely easier than the T84, according to my students. I've been using this for a lot of years. And um, what I've done, the good news is that when I first built this, it wasn't that great. And you know, anyone know what happened? No, 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 it just wasn't, just wasn't that great because I didn't code it great, okay? What happened is students gave me suggestions and it's been around for about three or four years, three years, I think. 
And so I've had like three years of suggestions. And every time I get suggestions, it, it, if it makes sense, I, um, I fix it and make it better. And you'll notice within these, everyone has that. This is actually a Desmos calculator, but it has a scientific calculator in it. So it has that. It also has a link back to the calculator menu. Okay, and those were all suggestions from students actually to get, put those in. Um, so if you any if there's something that you don't like about my calculator, give me a suggestion. I'll probably you know I'll probably do it. Just let you know. Okay, if it's possible. <laughs> okay, if it's not possible, if it if it said you know I really wanted to read my mind so that I don't even have to type. Sorry, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I can't program that. Um, but but if you ask me something pos possible, I, I can do that. Um, so this is the calculator. I mean, if you want to use a TI-84, you can. I promise you that's harder. Okay. This is just set up for this class, whereas a TI-84 is set up for any class, including calculus or whatever you might be doing in algebra. And this is just for our class. Okay. So that's that. And again, um, that's the link. Um, there's another piece, and that is for the projects. And this has to do with there are some universities that if I do not require a spreadsheet program for the class, they do not accept this for transfer. And let me ask you, how many of you be dropping the class this week if you found out this class didn't transfer to the university you need to go to or are at? So would you drop? <laughs> Okay, my guess is everybody. <laughs> so my number one, number one obligation and priority is to make sure this class transfers. And so that's why I require the spreadsheet program to be used because that satisfies those few universities that require it. And I program this too. This is, um, this is a Google Sheets that I coded. And what you'll need to do, first thing is go to file. You need to make a copy, give it a name, okay? And then hit the okay button. I'm not gonna do that. I think it's okay. With, with Zoom, I never get to see the whole thing. There we go. Yeah, it is okay, good. Um, hit the okay button and then you have your copy and you can enter your data. I'm not gonna make another copy because I have my copy <laughs> um, because it's a, like a Google Doc basically or Google Sheets, it's Google Sheets. So it gives you a copy. Also, sometimes it'll give you a warning, danger, this could you know, cause you a virus. I will not give you a virus. <laughs> it's like afraid of some of the code I put in. <laughs> so sorry about that, but just say, do it anyway, and then you'll be fine. I, I promise I will not destroy your computer with my code. Okay. Anyway, we'll talk about this later when we get to the project, um, you know, next week. But that's set up. If you have a learning disability, then um, we have a learning disability center. Um, they have a website. They also have email. They also have a phone number. And they have a location, which I actually don't know because they moved last week somewhere in, at Lake Todd Community College. So just walk in and start asking people, you'll find it. Uh, but they moved somewhere. I think it might be a, it might be E106, I think is where it is. But you don't have to go there. You can do it all online. And whatever, um, whatever you need will make happen. And so, and I made sure, for example, all of my videos are closed captioned. Okay, so if you're blind, then you can still watch my videos and you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get the closed caption. Uh, sorry, if not blind, if you are hearing impaired, you can still watch the videos and see the, the text that I'm saying. Okay, or if you don't have, even if you don't have a speaker in your computer. So I make sure that, you know, everything I have has an alternate so that it will make it for whatever disability there is. If for some reason um, the disability, you go to them and they say you need more time, we'll make that happen. Um, whatever they tell me, I make happen for you. Okay, so there is tutoring and support, and I want to introduce you to Braulio. Braulio, can you say hi and introduce yourself and talk about? How you're helping? Yeah. Hi everyone. My name is Braulio. I'm a, I'm a transfer student from South Lake Tahoe Community College. I'm currently attending Chico State. Um, I am going to be the embedded tutor for this quarter. I've been working with Larry for a couple of years now, so I'm I'm pretty familiar with the class, and I can help you in 
um, any way that you know um, any anything that's like totally I mean that's still unclear or maybe the discussion you need a little help with feel free to reach out to me via email or cranium cafe um, if you go to cranium cafe you'll find like a, it's a very it's a vast uh, page of all the source all the resources on campus but you'll have to scroll down to the library and learning services that's where you'll find me uh, you'll find you'll also find like some other tutors so in case i'm not around you can feel free to reach out to kevin or any anybody else with like a stats uh, uh, title in their name uh, you can also you know feel free to stop by whenever you like my my schedule's right there sunday monday and wednesday from three to seven and tuesdays and thursdays from one to seven um Oh, it's one seven, not, uh, Tuesdays and uh, two, sorry, Tuesdays and Thursdays from one to six. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sure. <laughs> yeah that's fine. Um, yeah, feel feel free to. Uh, I'll be there on those hours. If you by chance show up on um, some other hours where I'm not there, feel free to send me an email. I'll get back to you uh, pretty quickly. And um, yeah, that's looking forward to working with you. Yeah, probably is great. Again, what we're here for you. Okay, so if you're willing to put in the time, um, we'll be able to help you in any way you need. Um, and mm -hmm. Braulio is here to help you out with any kind of questions you've got. I'm here in the webinars and my office hours. But like I said, we're here to support you. That's the important thing. Uh, um, and another, another thing that Cranium Cafe um, allows is like um, for you to like set an appointment with me. It's, it's only scheduled for 15 minutes, but don't worry about those 15 minutes. You also don't have to worry about setting up an appointment if you don't want. Okay, great, great. Um, what I found, you know, I had after this getting help with Canvas links. That was really important. Um, I don't know if you know, but I've been doing Canvas for a long time, um, many years. And um, when I first did it, everyone needed help with Canvas, you know, or a lot of people. Now, after COVID, almost everyone understands Canvas. So, but if you need help, there's links to it. Um, a word on honesty, don't cheat. That's the main thing. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the syllabus. Let me go to, so right now, when you click on Canvas or on our page, it sends you here. In a couple of days, I'm gonna have it sent automatically to the modules. So just for the first couple of days, looking at the syllabus is important. And then the weekly stuff, it becomes more important. So let me just do that. So first thing is I have a course information module. Basically, this has all the stuff that the syllabus had, just in a different place. Makes it easy to find. And then there's week one. And what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much go through all the stuff in week one. You'll notice that there's... Um, Click on the first thing. That's my little quick video. And you know, it's uh, three minutes. I'm not, I'm not gonna have you watch it, but it's a it's a video I made for the beginning of the class. Okay, and then after that, there's a link to the webinar where we're at now. I don't need to click on that because that takes you the link to what to get log in. Um, for the orientation, notice tomorrow at noon, another link to the webinar. Then there's content um, links. So I have student learning outcomes, then um, the link to chapter one, full length video, all those things we saw before, but now I've kind of sectioned them out by the week's chapters. So they go right to that particular video or that particular um, textbook section instead of just the general playlist or something like that. Okay, um, now the assignments. So let me start out with a secret word quiz. This is going to look different for you. Um, I have it in instructor mode and you're not an instructor. So I'm going to click preview so it'll look like what it looks like to you. It'll look something like this. It'll say, what was the secret word for the week one webinar? And the secret word, okay, you're not going to have to draw, but I'm going to draw so that you can all see it. Uh, let's put text. The secret word is s 
schedule because I recommend that you create a schedule every week on when you're going to be doing the work to make sure it gets done because there's a lot of work to do. So make sure that you put that in your schedule instead of waiting until you know 10 p.m. on Sunday thinking you can get everything done, it won't happen. So instead, every week, think about what you're going to be doing. You know, uh, Tuesday, I'm going to work from, you know, three to seven on, you know, on stats. And then, I, then I'm going to get back to it on Friday. And then on Saturday, I'll finish it off, something like that. Um, so schedule is the secret word. So you'll type that word in. And again, I'm going to erase it. So I only show it once. <laughs> so I hope you all wrote it down. <laughs> and then you'll go to the secret word quiz. You type the word in. Hit submit quiz, and then it charts you with having done it. It'll let you know you got it right. Okay, so that's the secret word quiz. That's the secret word for the orientation. We're in the orientation webinar. Tomorrow, I'll give you a secret word <laughs> for the week one webinar. But this is not the week web webinar. This is the orientation. I'm not doing any statistics today. Okay, um, so it's just orientation. All right, so then... Let me go back. Uh, I need to drop that one, I think. There we go. So then we can go to the next button, which is, this is just fun. This is a get to know each other, but you're gonna, get, you lose points if you don't do it. So it's fun, but you better do it. And this is, let me read it out. And that is, please introduce yourself by stating two truthful facts about yourself. And one thing that's not truthful. You will see if other students can guess what are truthful and what is not truthful. Then you respond to at least one other students. That, by the way, only week one and actually week 11, you're, it's, I recommend you um, respond to many of the students because it's just the fun stuff, just for this particular one. Not for the other week one one, but for this one, because this is just to have fun. Okay, to see if you could figure out which are truthful and which are not truthful. So guess everyone's is a fun thing. You can guess mine too, because I'll show you how to do that. Okay, finally, after someone has responded to your list, comment on whether the student was correct, and then write about how you plan on using statistics in your future coursework or career. Please post the link by Thursday or earlier so students have enough time to respond, and so you don't lose points. You lose points if you um, send it on Friday, for example. So I will take off points. Is you better get 10 out of 10 on this one. So let me, um, and by the way, you don't get more points if you guess right. You just get points for guessing. So you hit reply, that's how Canvas works. And let me just type it in. Here are my three, I'm gonna put quotes, truth, because they're not all truth. So how about one? I received my PhD. In statistics. At UCLA. And have taught statistics. Ever since two, I coded the first ever online shopping cart. Three. Okay, so I'm just putting stuff in. Some two of them are going to be true. One's not true. Just to let you know. And the third one is I walked from my house in Tahoe to Yosemite. So there's three truths, okay? And um, uh, sorry, two are true, one is not true. You have to guess. So then what you wanna do or what I'm going to do, but you're going to be doing it also with yours, is you're going to hit post reply. You always want to scroll down a bit, make sure it shows up. <laughs> if it doesn't show up, try again. Because for some reason, Canvas sometimes doesn't get it right. I don't know why, but always check it. Okay, 
And then you can reply to my post. You know, I recommend you know, see if you can guess mine. Okay, I'm not going to tell you now, um, but I will tell you. Usually, like maybe Saturday, I'll I'll let you y'all know what's true if you if people guess. And then again, you can guess everyone's today. Okay, and then once someone's replied to yours, let them know if you know if they're right or not, and then talk about how you're going to use stats. Any questions about how this works? Okay, this is just a fun one. Obviously, there's no need to understand statistics at all to be able to do this. So let's go back. And let's go through the content a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna show this one fast because it's just another discussion assignment. Again, there's a fun one, and then there's one that actually you have to do statistics with. So I'm not going to spend a, a lot of time reading this whole thing, but this talks about chapters um, one and two, basically. And what I will always do is I will post for myself, I'll post a model post and a model reply. So that way you get an idea of what a good post looks like. Okay, so I recommend reading mine. Um, but the one thing you should that you're not allowed to do, which I did, is don't reply to your own post. You can only reply to your classmates' posts. Okay, and other than the secret word one, if someone else has already replied, don't reply again. Okay, pick something that hasn't been replied yet for this week's, um, for the regular assignments, not for the, not for the little two true sun truth, but for the, this assignment and all the rest of them till the last week. Okay. Any questions on what the discussion assignments look like? You could also click discussion and I'm showing you this for a different reason because I have put at the top a few things. The Q and A form I showed you. There's also, oops, that should be, you reply, except for the secret word, uh, except for the two truths, uh, one untruth, you only reply to one post. Two truths, one untruth, apply to everyone. Um, it's just nice, it's fun. But for everything else, you apply to one, okay? And it turns out week 11, and you'll see why. Week 11 is a little like um, this fun one too. Um, let me unpin this just a minute. I made a couple mistakes. Good thing is I can fix it as we're talking. And I can pin these. These are supposed to be pinned. There's one more I want to pin. Okay, so I have a project one discussion form. So I'm going to click that. This, the first thing you're going to do with this discussion forum is find partners. So this is the best way to find a partner. So you can hit reply. Okay. And I'm just going to do something that you might want to do. I am looking for two partners. I would like to get started early. Instead of waiting to the last minute. Okay, and then you're going to post it. I'm not going to post it because I'm not looking for a partner because uh, I grade your projects. I don't do your projects, um, but you get the idea, hopefully. Uh, there we go. And then I'm going to cancel it, but then you can reply to someone else saying, hey, I want a partner too, and then you found a partner. That's how easy it is to find partners. Don't wait. Don't wait three weeks to do that. You know, find a partner today if you can, you might as well, because finding a partner, you don't know any statistics for it. Um, but I found that if you tend to wait to the last minute and you're working with someone who likes to start early, you're going to hate each other. <laughs> so make sure that you're on that kind of same schedule or things go bad. <laughs> Just let you know. Okay. And then we're almost done, by the way. 
I know we're going a little more than an hour and sometimes that happens. Okay, then you'll notice there is in the assignments, there's a chapter one assignment. These are the kind of homework looking assignments. Oops. I guess I haven't done this yet. Let's try again. So you're gonna be given a question and let's suppose in a study, the data you collect is age and years. What type of data is this? If you said qualitative categorical, hit submit question, that's wrong. Okay, but here's the thing. You can click get a similar question. Okay, and now it gives you a different one, same concept, but a different question. And in this study, the data you collect is standardized IQ score. What type is this? Okay, so if you said quantitative discrete and you submit question, I got it right. And notice you get one point out of one point for this problem. Even though you got it wrong the first try, it'll, if you get it right even once on this type of problem, then you get full credit. But here's what you wanna do. If you don't understand why you got it wrong, that's where you talk to Braulio and he'll help you out, okay? Or you can post in the Q&A board, you know, and I'll answer, or you can answer each other's too, or you can come to my office hours and I'll help you out. But don't just let it go. If there's something you don't understand, make sure you get help, got it? Any questions on that? Yep, yeah, so as I mentioned the exams, what I did is I took all of the questions and, you know, there's a lot of questions. This particular chapter has, what, uh, 15 questions. Chapter two is going to have another 15 or so. So you're going to have like 70 questions total of the, you know, just even the first two chapters. But then only like 14 of them are picked. <laughs> so, and they're picked somewhat randomly. So it won't be every question. It'll be random questions. So all of you are gonna get a different, a different example, okay? But it's randomly picked by the computer. There's no bias involved. Does that make sense? So it's not just these type, these are the questions. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Except for the last couple questions, and those are gonna be a little more like the discussion post questions, because they're gonna be essay stuff. Okay, so, and, and they are worth a bit. So make sure you take those seriously show all your work and how many questions? I think there's like 17 or 18 typically. They're not all exactly the same number of questions, but around that. Okay. So if we go ahead and we go back, you'll notice that in week one, we have two chapters and that's it. Okay, so we've gone through, I can show you chapter two, but it looks similar. Okay, and by the way, they're not all multiple choice, by the way. So for example, this one, it asks you, what is the most expensive house sold? Give your answer in dollars. Okay, so this one, you have to type a number. Okay, and make sure that you do all the math rounding right and stuff like that, because the computer is strict on rounding. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, so some, some are like this, some you have to type, type in the number or whatever, uh, different types of things to do. And if you ever don't understand how to do it, again, you can get help, you can also post on the Q&A board. So, and Brawley, you can help me, did I forget anything? Um... No, I think that's it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. I'm going to stop the, I'm going to stop my share. I'm also going to stop the recording. <laughs>